Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Cool! Alright guys, well welcome to the Turing Test. Yes, this is a brand new game. Uh, I played just a little bit of it just to make sure settings are right and the game's gonna play smoothly. Uh, so this is a game that's similar in concept, I guess, uh, to like Portal it would probably be the closest approximation I could give this game. Uh, we're playing this character called Ava Turing. Mm hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, this whole place is weird. There's a whole lot of like these cryo frozen rooms. Uh, I guess there's other candidates or something. We got a Canadian flag in here. This is user error pod malfunction. That sucks. Uh, yeah, more Canadian. I don't know if this if this area takes place in Canada. I guess there's Canadian flags in a couple of rooms. Uh, anyway, let's continue on here. Let's see what we got. So yeah, it's been a while since I played a game similar to this. This is uh, a puzzle game, like I said, similar to Portal. So we'll have to be figuring out little areas and things like that. Uh, 404, not found. Oh, I can. Well, if you guys, <laughs> there we go. If you guys want to read that, there you go. Uh, I guess pressing E on something will like make you look at it. Uh, so we're in the crew lobby now. E. Oh, I can look at it and spin it around. Cool. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, this thing. Is there anything I can do with these other than just pick them up and look at them? I guess not. All right. So this is probably going to be the tutorial section, right? Just kind of teach you how to play the game and all of this stuff. Uh, what are we going here? Can we go in here? It says lock. Oh, we're supposed to go this way. You got an open door. Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. This? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. A lander to Europa. Oh, that's a cool suit. Can I wear it? No, it doesn't look like it. Helmet. Um, I guess there's nothing else in this room for us, right? Coat hangers and stuff. All right, let's move on. Ah, this door's open now. Cool. All right. Uh, this way? Docking bay hatch. E. Well, that's a lot of stuff that I'm doing just by pressing E. <laughs> I guess this was the right way. I am still don't have control of the game. This is all cutscene. Cool. This game is really, really smooth on my computer anyway. Like, What's really the nice. Status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa Lander is ready to launch. All right, so what controls we have? Like, control... Control this something. Is that... It's almost like a crouch, right? I don't know. Uh, shift? Oh, shift makes us run. All right, what about... Does alt do anything? I guess I should look at, like, the control... <laughs> so I can figure this out. Uh, let's go settings... Can... Oh, not set defaults. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Uh, controls... All right, so spacebar to jump, fire... Alt, fire... Use forward, back, left, right, walk, back... It doesn't say what the... The control key was do. Oh no, it says walk is left control. Oh, does that mean we can move slower? So if I press control. Yeah, okay, so we can move slower or we can run. All right, I guess that makes sense. That's cool. I have no idea what that is, but that's cool. <laughs> All right, let's continue on here. Let's see what we got. Oh, can we turn the things? No, I won't let us turn them. Uh, what's up there? I want up there. I don't think there's a way to get up there. All right, let's continue on here. Um, ooh. Okay, so we're in space, obviously. 
That's cool. Let's continue. Hello, is anybody here? Am I the only one? Uh, all right, this one's got a green door. This is probably it. What else is back here? Nothing. Hmm. All right, let's go. E. Look at all the buttons and stuff. Goodness. And she just gets in. She knows exactly what to do. There's Retro. like a million buttons. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Separate. Oh, here we go. Oh, snap. Engaging retrofire. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Burn! Don't crash! Perfect landing. 10 out of 10. Best landing ever. <laughs> Open the door. Welcome to Europa. Welcome to Europa. This is like the coldest, most desolate looking place ever. All right, there's like a lot of cut scenes in here where we don't have control of the game. Here we go. Uh, all right, so this is Europa. I assume we're supposed to go here. I'm gonna go over here. It looks like a thing. What do we get over here? We have an invisible wall is what we have. It won't let us go over there, dang it. There was like a thing over there, wasn't there? There's like definitely some sort of a structure. Huh. I assume if we go this way, the same thing's gonna happen. Invisible wall, probably. No, no exploration for us. Can we climb up on this thing? How no. long will my suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin, a couple of hours. We should get inside. Oh, we have a couple hours to explore. And of course, there's like a, an impassable wall this way. It's weird that they would elect for invisible walls. Hmm. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's go into here. Ah, it's much warmer in here. Everything is so, like, super clean and shiny. I keep thinking these are, like, the Star Trek symbols. It looks very similar, huh? Alright, let's go. Oh! Seamless transition for a loading screen. And... Somehow we have, like, a gun now. We didn't have one before. Left click makes the sound, right click makes the sound too. All right, well, we got a gun. That's cool. What are these things? Nothing. Come on, there's knobs. You got to turn them, right? <laughs> it won't let us do anything with them, though. But. Weird. Okay, that must be like. The base has changed. What do you mean? Must be cleaning us or the something. The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. Uh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just gotta pick this thing up, E, and then stick it in the little socket. Yeah, very much like Portal, where you gotta place the cubes or whatever to unlock the doors. Got it. All right, so let's continue. These things, <laughs> those like the emancipation grills or whatever. Anyway, let's keep going. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. Uh, it costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support. Oh, especially okay. Especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. So we can put, pull out the little glowy thing to open the door and stick it in another one or just take it with us or whatever. 
All right, so door open. Sector E3. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. Mm. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. Oh, there's a window there. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. Aha! Uh -huh. Got it! So we need to work together. These machine or these tests cannot be completed by machines, only by humans. I get it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. But what is the purpose of these tests, though? That's something I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. We solved the problem. We put the little cube through the window. Very difficult. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah, like I said, these are probably all like um, tutorial training ones, just to kind of you know get you familiar with the mechanics they of the really game. They have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Oh, okay. So to do the lever, you press and hold E, and then you move your mouse. I guess if you're using a game controller or something else. All right, so that just... Yeah, it's one thing that connects to both. You can just open one or the other. Got it. Pretty simple so far. I like it though. Um, got a window. So what's in here? Okay. Ah, just telling us that we can grab the little thing through an open window, I suppose. I see. Got it. Sector A6. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. Okay, so if we take this, the door... We can take this and the door closes. We can't go that way. So let's put this back. Uh... So we need a thing for here. And we can't take that box with us. Oh, you know what? We can probably do the old switcheroo, right? These all look like the same kind of sockets. We can put the little block in or the ball. Let's try this. Oh yeah, that works just the same. All right, so we can do the old switcheroo. There we go. And, haha, -ha! got it. There it is. Okay, so. This one was a little bit trickier, probably the hardest one so far, Sector A7. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. So what do we got here? This, oh. So what's up there? What's the purpose of this? Restricted area. Perhaps oh. we can't solve this yet. Oh, weird. So it says perhaps we can't solve this yet. If I take this, what happens? Nothing. Um. Do I need those? <laughs> I wonder if this is like an area we come back to after doing a whole lot of other stuff. I'm not sure how this is all going to work. Uh, so we can do the right mouse button here. Oh, we get that and that stops the thing from doing whatever that is that it's doing. What is it that it's doing? I'm not sure. Okay. This is such a crazy game so far. Uh, hold E. Move the mouse left or right. Oh, it's a magnet. I guess I didn't mean to do that. So if I take this thing, I can put it right here. Oop. That goes there. Okay, so we got that solved, but what? 
<laughs> I'm very curious about this. And what happens if we take one of those like electric balls through this thing? Does it get replaced? Let's grab one of these. Oh, it won't let us through at all. Aha. Okay, so that's what the deal is. Now, does it matter which spot these go in? I bet it's something like that. These two have to be in a specific spot in order to open this door. Because if it won't let us through holding one of those, I can't imagine we'll be able to take one into here. Okay, so we'll leave this for later, I guess. Oh, this one blinks on and off. I see. All right, well, let's continue on. Eight, what eight. does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Okay, so there is two of them that connect to the same one, so we can... Why is there a lever here? If I take this and I put this here, what does that do? Oh, okay, so this one connects to the same line as that one does. We can flip that back and forth. And since this has power, we can take this one. No, they both need power. Uh. Mm hmm. <laughs> so if this one has power and that one needs power, is do we have to do the old switcheroo thing again here somehow? Maybe. Not really sure how this is going to help us with anything, but we'll try it. Oh, can we grab that through the window, maybe? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Okay. Yep, that's what it is. All right, solved. Let's continue on. Sector A9. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories, conflicts, Okay, so it looks like we're supposed to put this one here and we need to get this lever flipped, but I can't flip it from back here. So how are we going to do this one? Uh, we have this other power ball thing, right? So we can grab this, stick that one here, flip the lever. That keeps this door open when we take this one. Aha. Okay. So that one goes there. This one goes there. Did it. We are smarter than the Turing test, Sector 810. Ooh, what is this? All right, so what happens if we take this one? Aha, uh -huh, okay, so that... I see. So this little raises us up, we come over here, we grab it, and do this. And take that back to open the door. Pretty simple. So what happens if we fall down there? Is there a way for us to actually see this thing? I'm sure we can see that from the ground. At least I would hope so. Planetarium. It's almost like we're in space. It's so realistic. This <laughs> is the command center. Ooh. You can check on the crew status from here. Okay, so we can check on the crew status from here. Touch here. I eat E. I'm eating it. Oh, I clicked on the thing and something happened. Uh, the Fortuna is in low orbit around Europa. It can house a crew of 12. It serves as a communication and transport link between Earth and Europa's surface base. That's cool. All right, well, 
Let's see what else we got in here. Europa Loading Bay. Okay. Not seeing a lot to do. Ooh, what is this? That's cool looking. Digital audio broadcasting. Well, that's what we look like. Lost signal. All right. What is this one? Oh, just a headset. I don't think there's really much too else, much else to see in there. Whoa. And we get one of those loading screens. Chapter one complete. All right, guys. Well, that seems like a good stopping point for the Turing test. Uh, if you guys like the, the video, you like the game, you want to see more of it, hit that like button, show your support, and we'll continue uploading this. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.